we felt like um, we felt a little bit threatened. Are you going to leave on your own accord? If not, you're going to be put in place under arrest. Welcome back to my tyrant free zone. Excellent. Yes. Well, howdy. Hi. How are you folks doing today? Good. How are you? Good. Hey, uh, so I will tell you, you will not find a person who, well, you probably could. I love the Constitution of the United States. I am free. I'm speaking to you here as I needed to let you know I had some video file errors for some of my content regarding this follow-up. Fortunately, I use a body camera for redundancy purposes and was able to capture most of what I am missing for my follow-up to have the trespass revoked for the Clark County Public Utilities District. As some of you know, my body camera does not have anywhere near the kind of audio I have for my GoPro, but it is understandable and captured. Please accept my apology for the poor audio, but it is what I have for my backup through my body camera. I am looking into a body camera alternative that has better audio now. If any of you have any suggestions for one, please comment below. One last note too, Frauditor Troll was good enough to cover this trespass story from the Clark County Public Utilities District, as some of you let me know this morning. First, I wanna thank Frauditor Troll for covering my story. And second, this story is for you, Frauditor Troll, Let's see if I get this trespass revoked or not, shall we? Now, on to the story. Let's watch Freedom in Action, everyone. My, my, how are you doing, Deputy Yogan? The presence of greatness. Oh, I appreciate that. Thank you. My guys pulled in here for lunch and said there was somebody out here that was videoing and taking photos of the crest of building and whatnot. He can do all that. So there we go. I just wanted to double check. I asked him for some kind of ID in case. He doesn't have to show you ID. It's all good. It's First Amendment. I am trying to get a trespass warning revoked. Okay. Got this yesterday at the Clark County Public Utilities District. This is my partner, Deputy Matt. Hi, Merrick. How are you doing? Good. Are you? Good. Okay. What, what exactly happened? So I was at the uh, Clark County Public Utilities District. I was going in there uh, trying to get a public records request form. I was there. I'm a journalist, investigative journalist. So I was there to, as, as you know, uh, to follow up on a lead from a source that I needed to check up on to see if it was accurate, whether you could get a public records request or not, okay. if there was something with it. And so in that process, um, I ended up having the individuals from the utilities district call the sheriff's department. They showed up, two deputies, Page and Palomounter, arrived. Uh, Deputy Page came in and said, I need to leave right now. If I didn't, I was going to jail for trespassing. Okay. Uh, I left with them, went out to the sidewalk, spoke with Deputy Palomounter uh, while Deputy Page was creating that and it was trespass warning. And in the process of that, I was beginning to show Deputy Palomounter in my video to uh -huh. show him that I was just there to get a public records request, didn't do anything wrong, illegal, inappropriate even. And uh, by that time, I'd say it was a couple of minutes into watching the video with uh, Deputy Palomounter, Deputy Page came over uh, for about 30 seconds, watching, said, look, I don't have time for this, I gotta go, and handed me the notice, said, here you go, you're out of here. So, sir, what was your first name again? Uh, Steve. Steve. Yeah. So, what is it you're specifically wanting to have done this morning here? Have that revoked. Okay. We don't have the authority to do that. So, if you would like to, we can either have you get in contact with Deputy Page or a supervisor. But that's not something we can just immediately make poof go away. So, what would you prefer? I'm going to see if the IAB sergeant's here also, just to give them a heads up on us. Well, if Deputy Page and a supervisor are working, I'd say let's start there. Right, yeah, let's find out if there's a... So, uh, is that, would that work? Yeah, supervisor would be great, okay. yeah. Let me go see if he's working. Sure. Actually, why don't we just, I'll go see if he's back there, but... Go and go see. 
And I've got on this body camera I'm wearing right now, I've got an SD card. I transferred the video footage over to that SD card so that if you guys want to watch it, um, I can provide it to you. Definitely, so. for sure. Let me, uh, we'll, uh, we'll go back and make sure that see if the IB sergeant's around because it's good. good to have two people to bounce it off. Good to see you again from March. Absolutely. <laughs> All right. So the sergeant that's working, are you okay with him just giving you a call, or do you want to meet with him in person? I prefer to meet him in person because that way I can record. Okay. I don't know how long that's going to take if he's yeah. the only sergeant on duty and what sure. time delay is in call him. So okay. rather than you sitting here all morning, what would you prefer for efficiency? Are you okay with him calling you back? No, no, I, I, I need to record it because if he's going to say, yeah, this is revoked, I need to have something that okay. says it's revoked. So I'll give you this. Okay. Um, we'll go call Sergeant Zimmerman and see if okay. come down, but sure. I'm not going to be able to give you a, a time estimate. Okay, so, how, what, how long is his shift? Uh, 12 hours. Okay. Okay. This uh, IAB sergeant is not here today. Oh, okay. I can leave him a message for you also. That'd be great. Okay. Yeah. I can do that. And I've actually got to walk back to, uh, I just came over from DCYF, so um, I can walk back there, get some information I need. Um, I was waiting for somebody to get them on the meeting over there. So I can go do that and then maybe just come back and... 20, 30 minutes, something like that? Yeah. Well, you know we park right out here in the alley, so if you want to do that, I'll do that. then uh, we'll be up there for sure. Sounds good. Good to right. see you. Good to see you. Yeah, likewise. Um, so we'll, we'll take a look at your video. Okay. Meet you. I'll just follow your car, and we'll just head to mine from there. Sure, sure, sure. Yeah. Uh, so I, I had a nice long chat with their security folk just to kind of keep you apprised of what's going on. They talked to them. He's like, well, I'm going to look through it. And did he just try the door once? Was he like jamming on it? He's like, no, I, he didn't. My security guy didn't tell me. Uh, he just said that he tried to get to a lock portion and we told him he needed to. That, that is true. I, I mean, when I walked up to the door, it was, you know, locked. They had, right. after I pulled the door, because, I mean, it's a classic somewhat broad corridor that goes yeah. to two double doors that you're just like, oh, this is the admin area. It literally looked like that. Okay. So I was like, okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go in there and get my PDR. It just looked like the right place to go to. I, I'm completely understandable. I mean, it's a facility that looks like it has the, all the accoutrement. I haven't been there in forever. The last time I was in there, I pulled a bill. And that was it because my online yeah. stuff wasn't working. See, and, and that's <laughs> see, that's kind of the thing about this, right? It's like, yeah. you know, when you're, when you're going to do this stuff, yeah. um, sometimes, or actually, I think we're Are you right here? Yeah. Okay. I'm over down this way. Uh, sometimes when you go do this stuff, um, you know, maybe the portal doesn't work or, yeah. you know, whatever. There's some problem you have to go in physically And that's the tricky part, right? It is, yeah. And I think there's a, a myriad of things going on where we're looking at uh, the issues that occurred during COVID and uh -huh. now social norms have been established after COVID, yep. from COVID. And people are, I was telling Deputy Rogan, I was doing some stories for the last couple of weeks up in the Olympia Tumwater area. And wow. Um, oh, hold on. Can I get a promise just on a personal level? I won't run you your won't, plate. Thank you. <laughs> That's right, folks. I decided to take a leap of faith here. I was so impressed with Sergeant Nichols and Deputy Rogan of the Clark County Sheriff's Department I walked to my personally owned vehicle with Sergeant Nichols. Now, I believe in President Ronald Reagan's view of trust but verify. I am going to run a records check on my vehicle to see if the plates were run or not. Do you think they were run? I do not think my vehicle's plates were run. I think Sergeant Nichols is a stand-up guy. I think he really sticks to his word, and that's my view. As you guys know, I don't take chances like this, but I took a leap of faith this time. Let me know what you think in the comments below. I knew what you were going to ask. <laughs> Not going to run it. Okay, thank you. <laughs> you guys have been extraordinarily awesome here, so well, I... Uh... So I will tell you, you will not find a person who... Well, you probably could. I love the Constitution of the United States. Absolutely love it. It's it is a part of... Property. Absolutely. It was way ahead of its time and well thought out yeah but, you know it's it's amazing when you look at um 
it's absolutely amazing when you look at James Madison was 24, if I remember correctly, yeah. when he wrote it. Yeah. Man, you know what I was doing at 24? Oh, well, I can tell you what Just I was doing. Just chasing skirt and drinking <laughs> endlessly. I mean, that's what I was doing. I was like, if somebody said, I need you to write the most important document yeah. ever written, I'd be like, like for like a dating profile? <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about, man. You know? <laughs> I mean, there's that. No, it's just the whole, like everything that they put into it as far as like knowing how things were going to change down the line. Sure. Right? Because they yeah. had already seen changes in technology and weaponry and yeah. how like, oh, now we have a printing press. Yeah. Well, that'll probably be replaced someday. Yeah. It's just, it's amazing to me. It is. They, they somehow crafted the most ingenious document that timelessly withstands every change in tech and everything else and it's just like wow how did you uh, how did you guys manage to do that you might do me a favor sure. holding that Thanks. do you want me to point it at me oh, or you can point it at me or whatever okay they've all seen my now you're on the other side my, yes now, now i'm on the other <laughs> side <laughs> my no. uh viewers subscribers they've uh see me with this and yeah. I explained to them and in case you guys want to hear it again I thank you you're welcome wear this mask because a it's for, it's a freedom declaration and B not all places are the same as you're gonna get with the Clark County Sheriff's Department and I don't want to end up on a fusion report makes sense so I uh, use this as a means to do that at some point it's gonna change I mean yeah. I don't know well, Somebody will see my face here and there. I'm not afraid to show my face. I just want to make it a, a statement of, I don't have to. And since there's no privacy in don't. public, I have to create my own privacy in public. Right. So. You, it's, you're 100% right. You don't have to. Uh, I, I love it, man. I think, I think we kind of get hung up a lot of the times on just the, like, oh, he's, he's wearing a mask. And, oh, he's got cameras. I, you know, I'm, I'm used to cameras and masks and... Sure. Oh, over here? I'm, yeah, I'm okay. over here. It's just one of those things. Now, is this kind going to fit in there? It should. Okay, so it I will should. get the... Uh, let me check my port just to make sure I okay. have one of those. Because I know... I fly our UAS. Well, before I was promoted, I flew a lot, but now I don't. You flew? Yeah, you know, with the drones. UAS. Oh! Yeah. Wow, that's cool. So... They usually have like the little slot that we can throw things in. So, okay. So I will shut this off and hand it to you. All right, get the card out. Yep, I got a spot. Awesome. For it. Okay. Um, it kind of lines up exactly with my conversation with the security manager, and with I actually talked to Paige. It's like, hey. I mean, it's a county facility, right? So he does have the ability to videotape in there and do that stuff. Just be in there. Yeah. yeah. Um, so I think sometimes that Clark Public Utilities, we don't always connect it as a government entity. Sure. So. Uh, and I definitely think that's what was happening because I was uh, talking to the security officer that was there and... Um, I actually thought he was raging out, but I realized he, he said he had Tourette's. I felt really bad. Uh, I, he <laughs> that really, would that he, would make you feel pretty yeah, bad. Yeah, I felt bad. I, he actually has Tourette's. I was like, oh my god, I feel like I feel really feel like a jerk right now. But I, I continued. I said, you know, I tried to explain to him. I said, look, you know, it's a municipal corporation. Mm -hmm. If you look in uh, Title Eighty of the RCWs, goes to public utilities. There's a board that's elected. You can do public records requests. If you can do all that. Yeah. It's a public place. Yeah. And he wasn't getting it. That's fine. And I was hoping when, you know, Paige and Palomounter showed up, we were going to have that conversation. Palomounter kind of did yeah. a, a bit. But yeah, that's basically where it went. So what I'll do is I will uh, get my laptop maybe in a coffee shop or something. Sounds good. And I will email. Shoot it to me. Oh, hold on. Did I give you that copy back or do I still have it? I think you got it. I... That's hmm? weird. It's not on the. Uh, I wonder if the, the fact that I put it into a folder and messed it up. I don't know. Oh well, shoot, where did that paperwork go? Here I am. Well, maybe, your let me double check. maybe I gave it back to you. I don't know. 
check in my spots that I normally put them in. I know mm. I didn't throw it away. We didn't walk past the garbage can. Uh, shoot. Weird. That is weird. Well, I assume there's probably a copy. Here, there's a copy. Somewhere. So, um, I'll take a look at your videos. Okay. Go from there. Yeah. Um, I'm also planning on calling back the the security guy, letting him know what I saw in your video. Okay. So everything checks it out what it is. Yeah. Everything's quashed. I, cool. I, I mean, I don't see anything wrong with you going in and exercising your First Amendment right as a journalist to do what you're supposed to do. Yeah. Right. Just to uncover this stuff so it can get fixed. Yeah, absolutely. So <laughs> I mean, we'll, we'll go from there. My phone number's on there. Give me a call. Okay. If, if anything pops up, I you don't have it. your number, but just shoot. If oh, you it'll pop use, up when okay, I when I give you a ring. Yeah. No yeah. Just shoot me the email with the video. Okay. We'll take a look at it. We'll go from there. Sounds good, Sir Nichols. Thanks. Yeah. Congratulations on the promotion again. You can call me Chris. Oh, Chris. Okay, you got it. It's okay. Thanks, Chris. All right, guys. Well, uh, as you can see there, uh, you know, based on our the, the interaction with Deputy Rogan back on March 6th, and now this interaction right here with uh, Chris, Sergeant Nichols, Sergeant Chris Nichols, um, not surprising. I think uh, you're seeing you're seeing the really experienced people, the sergeants, corporals, senior deputies like uh, Deputy Rogan. You're seeing these people doing the right thing. Hey everyone, I'm back at the Clark County Sheriff's Department. I've got the video footage for Sergeant Chris Nichols. I'm gonna run that over to them. I'm gonna try to find that uh, Deputy Jimmy Rogan. Uh, all right, found him earlier. Hopefully he's there. Or I can go into the uh, courthouse building, I guess. And uh, get him these videos, see if I can get this trespass warning revoked head back and get that business done and then uh, file a complaint against the uh, public utilities district do some public records requests for their emails I'm sure they've already had some email correspondence internally probably with their legal team and among managers probably something to the effect of dear God why did you do that but we'll see Hey, Deputy Rogan. Welcome back to my tyrant-free zone. Excellent, yes. I uh, was hoping you were going to be here. I was yeah. going to ask you if you might be able to run that up to uh, Sergeant Chris Nichols. Absolutely. That'd does be awesome. A, does he have a means to contact you? Uh, I did or? call him on his the business card he gave me earlier. Okay. And uh, it was a 564 number. Okay. Uh, he's probably busy at the time. I left yep. a message for him, so. Okay. That'll work. You left him a message. Yeah, I left a message for him. So, right. awesome. I will track him down and get it to him. Okay, right cool. Now. I appreciate it. All right. You too. All right. So it looks like we might be able to get this squared away here in a bit. I'm gonna hang around the area, see what comes of this. Um, I think they're being awesome. I mean, as you guys can see, if you watch the video of the City of Vancouver Police Department. Uh, honestly, I think what what it comes down to is you get a sheriff. They don't have to do anything. They're an elected official, but they're more accountable than a bureaucrat like a chief of police. So the chief of police, the commanders and whatnot over at Vancouver Police Department, they do not care <laughs> because to get fired, they're going to have to have the mayor or the city council, uh, depending on the rules, I guess, or the city, make the determination of firing that person. And for stuff that's gonna come down to like, he's rude, he's dismissive, he's condescending, whatever, he's uninterested in training his uh, subordinates, he's not He's not gonna care. He doesn't have to. As long as he knows the mayor of the city council is not gonna do anything, it is what it is. So if you haven't seen that video, go and check it out. Um, it's gonna be, uh, it's a doozy. I mean, it really shows the difference between an agency run by an elected official and an agency with an appointed bureaucrat like the chief of police so there you go uh, i'm gonna wait here and uh see if uh sergeant chris nichols uh is good with the videos if so great uh and i guess at that point the no trespass warning would be revoked uh that was 
Deputy Jimmy Rogan heading on over. I mean, literally look at the customer service here. Like literally, I am going up to a government employee and he is helping me when I'm asking him to help me. I mean, some of you might think that's like, well, of course, but this, this is not regular course of business in most places. Friendly, responsive, helpful, trying to help your problem get solved to the best of their abilities, and there they go. That's just fantastic, so. Okay. So there's that, if you wanna shred it and put it on a wall of whatever. Well, I'm gonna scan it, use this as uh, okay. part of the story, and then I'll uh, obviously update yeah, it that it's, it's squashed. It's squashed. All right, man. Take care. All right, guys. There you go. I mean, just a, just a clear thing there. I mean, the sheriff's department is fantastic here. There are some issues at other governmental levels here, but look at that. I literally went to the sheriff's department and sought redress of my grievances. They worked on it throughout the day while I was doing some other things as well. Squared it away. So guess what we're going to do now? It's the freedom train, ladies and gentlemen. We're gonna be heading on back to the uh, OK Corral at the Clark County Public Utilities District. We're gonna have a little walk through, clear the air hopefully. As promised, I am heading back to the Clark County Public Utilities District where I was trespassed from yesterday. Doing a little bit of a uh, follow up here after the uh, trespass letter was, or trespass warning was revoked. Gosh, Vancouver City Police Department in City Hall. I wonder why the Sheriff's Department has an exact opposite response from you. I wonder why. Maybe because their lawyers are giving you guys better information at the Sheriff's Department as opposed to the Vancouver Police Department, where you guys are constantly screwing up. Well, howdy. Hi. How are you folks doing today? Good, how are you? Good. Good. Everything gets squared away? Yeah. Awesome. It's that Title 80, remember, out of the RCWs. Wanted to see if I could get a public records request form. Public records request form? Yeah. Yeah, hold on just a moment. Thank you. Um, also, mm -hmm. do you happen to know where safety manager Zaccone is, if I could speak with him? Was that the guy that was here yesterday? I have no idea. I've never heard that name before. Do you mind having a seat up here? Well, honestly, what both of you now are doing is not okay. So yeah, I it definitely is, it, mind. Uh, the, 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 uh, most of the parliament building in Canada, you can't just waltz in, well, you can waltz right in, but you can't oh, just- Canada's walk, like a whole other country, man. Okay. That's, are you familiar with a person last name is Zaccone? Um, hold on just a moment. I sure. have a customer calling. Okay. Um, here is Thank you. the public service request. Okay, really appreciate it. How's your day treating you today? Mm -hmm. Pretty slow and quiet. Good. Yeah. Yours? Not bad, actually. Honestly, as a journalist, this is my favorite time of the year as long as I'm in this part of the country because it's really super nice here. <coughs> yeah. The weather is nice. Although I think next week's supposed to be, I'm heading out of the area, but from what I heard, the weather's supposed to be massive amount of rain. Yeah, but we need it though. We really need it. Oh, is this, is this, like dry for this 
time of year and whatnot? Yeah, uh, kind of. Oh, okay. Yeah, uh, yeah uh, other than the, uh, yeah, I suppose because I'm from Portland. Uh, the uh, fires have been getting there too, with the neighborhood fires and also the grass. Where I'm at, at least is dry, so gotcha. the white rainy weather is definitely a nice welcome. So since that big Kmart, yeah, the street from where I live burned down. Oh, wow. Yeah, so the, so the area kind of smells like burning. Yeah, that's not good. Yeah. I know, I've heard, I've yeah. heard other Great. parts of Washington State, for like uh, Douglas County, Okanagan County, apparently they get a ton of fires. Um, yeah, the rain helped, yeah, helped drown that through, out. Yeah, through most of the years, from from what I've heard. So that's that's uh, hey, Jesse. not good. Yeah, the rain helped drown that out. Yeah, I mean, being from Portland, you probably actually like the rain, don't you? Much prefer it. Jeez, I can't handle that much rain. It's just too much. <clears throat> but at the same time, I don't like it. I mean, I can drive through a place like Arizona, for example. I can appreciate the beauty. I would not want to live there. Nothing against, nothing against Arizonans, but it's, <laughs> it's just, it's too hot. yeah, it's too hot. It's too dry. I just wouldn't want to be around that all the time. Are you safety manager Zaccone? Uh, maybe. How can I help you? Well, I'm looking to just get this cleared up here. I'm sure you uh, remember I was here yesterday. Uh, are we all good on this? Because if yours is a company, that's your signature? That is. Okay. Have you spoken to the uh, Clark County Sheriff's Office? Yeah, spoke to Perfect. Sergeant Chris Nichols. He said the it was squashed. So there's that. If you want to shred it and put it on a wall of whatever. Well, I'm going to scan it, use this as uh, okay. part of the story, and then I'll uh, obviously update yeah, it that it's, it's squashed. It's squashed. It's squashed. Yep. Everything's good to go? That is correct. Okay, good. So we're, we're good to go then? We are. Okay. I would like to end this on an amicable note, but I would also like to make sure that we're all on the same page with this kind of stuff before. When Deputy Page and Deputy Palamounter uh, showed up yesterday, I asked them when I was unlawfully removed from this building to print out that form. That RCW 9052.80 on subsection nine is a perjury statement. I would like to just end this on an amicable note, have it be an understanding that it was a mistake yesterday. We shake hands and move on from this and not have it be an issue from there. And me have to not strike up something with the county because Honestly, I was pretty upset. I'll tell you guys exactly what the story was, why I was here yesterday. There is a lady that alleges two different locations in the Clark County area, one in the city of Vancouver, one for the county of Clark, discrimination against her disabilities. She said she took a uh, one of the uh, paratransit trucks, the vans that move people around from location to location, here, tried to get a public records request form. She was with her handler or whatnot. Mm -hmm and alleges that she had some sort of like minimalistic kind of uh, mockery of her disabilities, that she couldn't get a public records request form. She said she was told she had to go somewhere else. Her handler emailed me and said, I see you work on these kinds of stories, which I do all over the country. I came here to, to see if that was the case and what happened. I do a public records request and I have the police called on me. That's how that went down. So I'd like to move away on an amicable, like normal way, like our moms and dads taught us back in the day, shake on it, admit a mistake, I'll move on, we're done. I'll probably not come back unless there's a reason for it in the future for a story. Can we That's do that? fine. All right. So we good on this? It was a mistake, it sounds like? Uh, yeah, it was absolutely a mistake. Okay. Um, we've been uh, re-educating ourselves. Great, cool. On uh, situations <laughs> like this. Okay. We understand your rights. Great, I appreciate that, because um, that's, that's We important. were unclear on what you were looking for. 
Yes. Um, hey, ma'am, I got a quick question. Can I get a uh, blank public records request form? Black hat, dark glasses. Can I get a public records request form? Okay. Um, and uh, we felt like, um, we felt a little bit threatened by your disposition yesterday. We have educated ourselves that you're welcome here. Okay. We cannot subject our own opinions onto the public. I appreciate that. And we're here to help you out however we can. Okay. So as of today, what can I help you out with? That was it. I just wanted to square it away. I would like to ask, though, um, if approximately around April, were you working here? Yes, it was. Okay. Do you, do you recall anybody, two people, one of them would, be, would have been coming in with a kind of a large wheelchair that somebody with significant disabilities mm -hmm. would be in and a mm -hmm. handler coming in here to get a record request form? No. Doesn't sound familiar? No, not at all. Do you know if there was somebody else I might be able to ask who might see, you know, that sounds familiar at all? Um, I don't know. It could be anybody with customer service. Okay. I don't um, know what I'm to say, but I yep. just wanted, I mean, that's, that's and, the and other do part we of what know, we're trying to do. Like, we're, if you know anything about our utility, we are a public centric, publicly owned utility. Yep, that's correct. Public is number one for us. Okay. So we're always, we go above and beyond to meet <coughs> the public's needs. And I'm quite shocked by what you're telling me. And this um, is not how we act and, or what we do. It's, you know, like I said, it's a tip and a lead I got from a source. They don't always pan out. You know, mm -hmm. I mean, that's how it goes. That's why. We have to go in as journalists and actually ask the questions, dig around. I'm going to do some public records requests, see if there's internal emails about this kind of stuff, mm -hmm. anything like that. If it's not there, I will report with a follow-up story that says, from what I could find, from my digging, my doing records requests and whatnot, it doesn't seem like anything like that happened. If I do find mm -hmm. something, I'll report on that as well, of course. And I mean, ultimately, in the end, I think we should welcome that, whether it's good or bad, because if it's bad, it's an area we can improve on. If it's good, then great. There was no teeth to it, and we move on from there. That's fine. All that we, you, we request of you and the public is that we're here to help everybody. And um, our customer service agents <coughs> have a lot of information that we can provide you, mm -hmm. the public, an investigator, a whoever you identify with by just walking by and trying to enter a, a non-public part of our utility, that's kind of where we our hackles stood up a little bit. Yeah, and that's why I tried to explain to your security guard here yesterday and yourself and to the large gentleman that came out. I, he said he wasn't an employee, so I don't know if he is or not at this point. I'm Steve. What's here? Uh, we're good. Are you a public employee? No. Are you a public employee? No. You're not. You don't no. work for the public utility industry. No. I'll do a public records request on that. But when I walk back there, you know, if it was a simple mistake on my part, it was just a simple mistake on my part. When I look at that kind of utility or uh, customer service setup over there, mm -hmm. to me, it speaks, this is where you go to do your utility mm -hmm. stuff. It doesn't speak to me, this is where a public records officer is. Mm -hmm. And the lady up front seems perfectly nice, but I, that doesn't seem to me as where I would go to get a public records request yeah. form. Now, it was today. I don't know what, you know if that was what would have happened yesterday or, or not. But when I went back there, it looked to me until I got to a locked door, and obviously I couldn't go past it because it was a locked door. It seemed like a regular place, especially when it's like bathrooms, drinking fountain, it's a regular corridor. Mm -hmm. It looked like an administrative area. I go to find a PRO. It wasn't that way. <coughs> so that's all it was. I think it was a simple mistake. Apparently, you can get that form here. Um, okay. We had in hand, typically, most of our customers put a request over the internet. That's the most efficient way to do so. It is, and actually, back to the tip and lead that I got from my source, the reason I was doing it in person is because that's what I got as a tip and lead, is that she came in here because she couldn't do it over the internet or, or with the phone, and so she came in here to do it. Apparently, she was you know, kind of putting a, trying to put a little out there and say, hey, I can mm -hmm. still do something, so I'll come in here with my paratransit and do my thing, and hey, God bless her for that. But I wanted to see if by me coming in and 
trying to do a public records request in person with a form would cause something to happen and apparently it did but it sounds like you guys have spoken with legal and got it squared away it looks like we're all good to go yes cool okay okay all right. is there anything else i can help you with no i'm good to go i'm just going to ask her a couple questions maybe about uh what i was asking about regarding april and see if there's any information there and go from there that's fine do you mind if i monitor no not at all it's public space man perfect ma'am were you working here back in april yes hold on let me send this to this you customer. bet you bet. They know they got service. Yeah, what were the dates? I was told it was in the first week. I didn't have an exact date. <coughs> it was a little fuzzy, but I was told the first week of April of this year that somebody came in with a pair, had, had arrived with a paratransit vehicle, and that she came in in a wheelchair, like a, not a wheelchair, but the large mobility device that you see a lot of people riding in uh -huh. with a handler and it allegedly had a rude experience. I don't know if it, like I said, I'm not saying it was you or anyone else, I, but does I, that sound familiar at all? No. Huh, okay. Huh. Fair enough. Fair yeah. enough. I'll do the public records requests and who knows, maybe it was someone else. I don't know, but I'll dig around and see what I can get. So I appreciate it. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Have a good day. You too. Thank you. I mean, on one hand, good that they've been educated. On another hand, that was the most agonized, tortured response I've ever seen. Now, obviously, the guy doesn't have to be happy about everything. He's clearly not happy about everything. But that was the most tortured response I've ever seen, I think, from a human being, except for maybe someone on the rack in a movie. Um, but. It is good that everything was handled there. Uh, it's good that they've spoken with legal and done their thing. Um, I'm gonna do a public records request to see if anybody, I don't know how I will ask that because I have a sneaking suspicion they'd say it's some sort of HIPAA thing, but I'll try to get to the bottom of that and see if that's the case. Um, but that's what we do. If there's something to it in the story, there's something to it. If there's not, there's not. And uh, that's all there is to that. So. Problem solved. No trespass warning quash. I'm going to put in a complaint email on uh, Deputy Page. letters of commendation of both uh, Sergeant Chris uh, Nichols and again Sergeant Jimmy Rogan guys Freedom It's a fresh song you mm -hmm. Freedom It's all for you It's all for you Freedom Keep your ears to the ground We're talking about the freedom It's the best show in town the best show in town Freedom Come on, we gotta get some freedom juice out to him. So guys, please like, share, and subscribe. I'll put uh, all the uh, contact information into the uh, description below for all of the uh, deputies and people involved, et cetera, as I always do. So if you want to seek redress of your grievances, as is your First Amendment liberty, you can do so. If you wanna email, call, whatever it is, and let them know you liked something, do that as well. Whatever it is that you want, it's your First Amendment liberty, enjoy it. That's it for now, guys. Like I said, please like, share, and subscribe. Comment below, love reading those comments. I'll see you guys at the next location. Take care for now, bye.